Hey everybody, it's your Sam and I'm here with another video. I am going to talk a little bit about my new project. Actually, the one that I pretty much just finished these past few days and the new book that is part of that series that I've already started and some of my goals and stuff. Now, for the month of July, I had a goal of 30,000 words to write, and I accomplished that. I accomplished more than that. I accomplished 43,305 words for the month of July. That's a huge chunk of the first book in the series that I kept calling my new project. I didn't want to really talk about it because I have found that if I talked to you guys about my new project, it's almost like I'm writing it and I kind of lose interest or the push to write the project. So from here on out, <laughs> I'm going to be talking about my projects kind of in a past tense situation. I will be having some updates and everything that are, you know, as we're working on them. But for the most part, whenever I'm talking about characters and settings and magic systems and things like that, it's going to be mostly about the project that I'm either close to finishing or I have finished. Just for my sanity and just so I can keep that writing drive. For the month of August, I had another goal of 30,000 words. I accomplished that, I think, on the 5th day of August. <laughs> yeah, I, I accomplished that on the 5th day. So needless to say, I have bumped up my August goal to 50,000 words to see if I can reach that. I didn't want to bump up my August goal by too awful much because we are closing or in contract on a house. We're still waiting for a few particular things to finish up and to process in order to see if we actually get the house. Needless to say, August is kind of in a holding pattern or hurry up and wait kind of thing for a big moment in our lives. So that 50,000 word count may or may not happen. I'm pretty sure it's going to happen just because, like I said, it's a hurry up and wait game. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to be writing. I'm also going back to full time in the job that I hate just because my little side hustles and everything aren't quite enough to pay for this new house with the hateful part time. Unfortunately, it's life and it's going to be what it's going to be. But with me finishing this book, hopefully with I'm No Hero out on Query and this new book out on Query, maybe I can sell one of them and we can go from there. A little bit more about this new project is kind of what I envisioned. I'm going to show you over here a little sneak peek of the cover that I made. Granted, this cover, if I sell this book, is going to be null and void, but this is kind of what I have envisioned. And you're going to see a little snippet of it right here, and probably the next video I'm going to reveal it, or it might be next Thursday's video. We'll just see how my video schedule falls and all that good stuff. But the project name is Capture the Queen. It's a little play on chess and I found it rather fitting. Capture the Queen is a romanticy. It's a romantic fantasy. It has a lot of romance in it. It's spicy. It has a strong female lead and it has a very caring, strong male lead as well. Of course, the queen and Capture the Queen is my strong female lead, and she is finding herself in a little bit of a conundrum. I am going to be talking a little bit more about the plot and the characters and everything as we go along, but this is a sneak peek. <laughs> in Capture the Queen, the main trope that I am writing is enemies to lovers. 
Um, it is a romance, so there is a sense of this is going to happen kind of thing. There's going to be a happily ever after somewhat. Later on, I will also be talking about the magic system that I have come up for this world. Capture the Queen has elemental magic in it of sorts. I've taken the four elements, fire, air, earth, and water, and put them in there and given them kind of my own twist a little bit. I've also added three elements. I know a lot of elemental magic books have a kind of spirit element or something related to that. This one, I have added three others, and I will reveal those whenever I do the video on the magic system. I'm still working out a lot of the kinks because not all of the magic users make an appearance in this first book, but they will gradually make appearances in the next nine books. Yes, ten book series from a romanticy because I want to torture myself. <laughs> this was supposed to be a standalone. But towards the end of writing one of the chapters, I realized that these characters are going to stick around for a while. And they are screaming for their own books. And who am I to deny them? I love writing in this world already. And I'm going to write it for as long as I can. What you have to look forward to with this series, me revealing a little bit more about it, is going to be my terrible rendition of my fantasy map, which I'm going to hire somebody to do one, probably. And also the new magic system. More about the characters, more about the settings, and more about the story itself. If you want a sneak peek at the very rough first chapter, make sure to sign up for my Substack down below. I actually posted the first chapter there under the paid subscribers only section. Thank you for watching everybody. Let me know in the comments down below how your July went and what your goals are for August. Be kind to one another out there. Be kind to yourself. Keep writing, keep being creative, and I will see you next time.